Hello friends, this is Rupesh from watching Freebrush Video Series on C interview questions and this question is about string literals and interviewers confuse people so much by asking the string related questions so I will try my best to sort out few of them so bear with me, we'll enjoy this video. So string literals are constant strings and can't be changed. So generally this is how a string literal looks like, there are other types also but I'll be discussing this one only because uh, you can put L here for a string literal then you have to change this type but no one asks that much advanced string literal they just try to confuse you with the basic ones okay so the actual meaning of string literal is your string is constant okay you cannot change that I mean this value can't be changed using this str1 because this is inside read only memory okay so I'm trying to tell you is like if you are willing to change this str1 location whatever maybe second location is equal to let's make it a so second location means this p here right now so what you're saying you want to change this p here with a but this is not possible it will compile so let's check that so if we will compile this code see it got compiled but as you will go for running this it will give you a bus error and maybe in your computer you will get segmentation fault the, the difference between bus error and segmentation fault is that segmentation fault means the memory you are trying to access is a valid memory but you don't have the rights to access that memory but in this kind of bus error means that memory what you are you're trying to access is not valid okay maybe you are asking some memory which doesn't exist at all so that's why you got this bus error so as I said you won't be able to change this because this is a constant string okay and can't be changed so always remember if you are having character pointer string then you cannot change that because this will go to the read only memory of your program you cannot change this this is not rewritable so this was the first point now let's look at the second point the second point is pointer can be changed to point to some another string yes you can do something like this you have some string pointer str str2 you can make str1 here or to say that you have some str is equal to let's make it Rupesh Yadav and later you're trying to change this str2 is equal to str1 so this is quite possible let's check that printer percentage s and if you'll print str1 and let's make this print f2 str2 so save this compile this it got compiled if you'll execute this cvp nuts cvp nuts so you're getting two times cvp nuts means you're getting this one two time so i mean you can make this pointer to point something else but the point is you cannot change the ultimate data here okay this string may point this one and this string may point this one but either of this cannot be used to change their data okay so that's the important point here with the string literals so that was the second point third point is as string literals are constant by nature applying constant keyword gives extra benefit so now here is the main important point there was a time when I was also confused when I was asked this question like uh, let's make this simple clear yeah so as I said this is a constant and you cannot change that but someone said what if I apply constant here then what will happen and mind that applying constant here and applying constant here like const is totally different thing here you are saying that str cannot point to something else okay so this is totally different than this so here you are saying that this character pointer is a constant character pointer and it means you cannot change the data and without applying this also you cannot change the data then what is the meaning of applying this one here so this was a pretty good question 
and I was not able to answer this question. Then I googled it and I came to know that there is a good reason behind using this constant and that good reason is did you remember that you was doing something like this str0 not to 0 2 is equal to something like this and it 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 did compile correct let's compile this again see here you are getting the error so the read only variable is not assignable means now your code won't compile before without applying this let's delete this your code will compile let's compile this again see it got compiled but if you will use constant here your code will not compile so accidental changes to this string can be avoided using this constant okay so this was about third point i guess yeah so the fourth point is creating array of string is not sh string literals yes so let me just remove this and create something like arr Mm, cpp nuts so this is the array of the characters and this won't be stored at read only memory this will be stored at stack and you can change this because this is not a constant if you will make this as constant then you cannot change that but without constant you can change it okay so as i told that you cannot change this one because this is a string literal but this can be changed so if you are planning to change something in future then you should make it as string array not the string literals so something like this q and we'll save this print this arr and we will get cpp and qts so let's check that compile execute c cpp and q is there u is gone so this is working so as i said using array it is possible to change this because this is not going to store at read only section hence can be changed so this was maybe the fourth point fifth point is we can change non-constant array and strings yeah that's what i showed you here so the fifth sixth point is experiment with the function passing okay now this is the time to experiment this with the function passings so let me create a function we have void function let's make this character ptr ptr and try to change this ptr with something like 2 is equal to a okay and that's it and what we are trying to do is we are not keeping this as a constant here and you have this array and let's copy and paste this here remove and make it ptr and comment this one and pass fun first with this str1 so as you know that this is a constant string i mean a string literal you cannot change this so you're passing this address here and you're trying to change it here which is undefined behavior okay and yeah i forgot to tell you that if you are attempting to change this this is undefined behavior so that's what we are doing here so let's compile this at compile time it will not give you any error because we are not having this as a constant so we'll check that as well so first let me compile this gcc it got compiled successfully and if we will run this it is giving you bus error as expected because you're trying to change this which is a constant now if you're sending ARR which is allowed to be changed this will work so let's check that compile execute CPA so that second place is changed correct it should be CPP but it is CPA so this was the small experiment with the functions and yeah I was telling you that if this is constant then you cannot change this so let's compile this uh oh this is the problem with c code actually because it will automatically remove this constantness because we are passing this one here so this is the problem with this c code so if we will compile this with g plus plus you will get the error see you got the error no matching function for call because you are passing a non i mean constant to a non-constant so this is not allowed in c plus plus 
and this is the problem with C compilers. It will automatically truncate this constant away from this ARR and will pass that pointer here. So don't get confused. C is little bit liberal in all these things. C will implicitly cast away this constantness, but C++ doesn't allow that. That's why you got this. So clear the string and yeah. So if we will remove this constant here and pass this str1 now. So the same case will go with this if we have constant here and let's compile this. So in G++ it won't allow because this is C++ compiler and if this is GCC it will allow. But again the behavior is undefined. So as you are passing this constant from here to here and you have successfully compiled and you will try to run this then you will get this bus error okay so that's it this was about string literals now wait a minute there is this raw string in c plus plus 11 so now this won't be a c question this will become a c plus plus question for this seventh statement okay so i have copy and pasted that full code here in call your stackedproof.com this is online compiler for c++ and i like this as i said this is c++ feature we don't need all these c++ header includes we need io stream stream and using name space std and it won't work with character pointers so you have to use a string here and no need to use this printf so we can use C out str1 and that's it. So if you'll compile this, it should compile good. See, it is giving cbp slash n. So this is the use of your row character. It is saying that don't interpret anything with some special behavior. Everything is just simple characters. So this slash n doesn't have any special meaning inside this. Okay. And that's just because of this capital R and this syntax, this opening and closing round bracket syntax, correct? So let me just show you this. If you will remove this capital R from this place and try to compile this. See, it is printing the CVP and then nuts in the next line. Okay, so this has a special meaning right now. So if you will apply this capital R, which makes this string a raw string in that case it doesn't have any special meaning inside this and it is printing whatever it is getting in between these opening and closing round brackets okay so that's it i think we are done here thanks for watching and if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button dude and make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you will get the notification for my upcoming videos like this i'll see you in the next video bye bye